The Stapler. Tom Thomas gets the ball. He makes an incredible move. He's wide open. The goalie sees him and he screams in horror. He shoots and scores! Yay! Tom Thomas, stop kicking that ball. Your school concert starts in 30 minutes, and I don't want to iron your pants again. All right, Mom. Just one more time, huh? No, I'm sorry. Mom said I have to quit kicking the ball. But Mom said nothing about dribbling the ball. Go, you can Tom, do Tom. it! You, you can, can do, do it! it. Yeah. Go! Special concert pants. Ugh. Yeah, how will you go now? Well, your mom does have enough time to sew them. I'm scared to even tell her about it. She said that I had to stop playing. are lightly glued together. That way you can load many staples at once instead of one at a time. And a spring pushes the staples to the front. When you push down on the arm, a metal tooth pushes the front staple down through a thin space. And the staple punches holes in the paper. Next, the pointy ends of the staple push down onto a plate. And that makes the staple bend behind the paper. And there you go. The papers are fastened. So you could say that we're sewing, but using a stapler instead of a needle. Yeah, and it works even faster. Huh? What's going on? Could it have run out of staples? There's still a lot more staples, but one of them got jammed here in the slot. Ugh. Tom Thomas, we're leaving in five minutes. Okay, Mom. So, did you get it? No. <sighs> Why don't we get Papa's to help us? Because he's really strong and he's got a pack a mat. We can do this ourselves. Tom Thomas, find something we can use to push that staple out. The stapler is not a very new invention. It's been said that the French king, King Louis XV, had a stapler made out of gold and precious gems. Unfortunately, it could only hold one staple at a time. Modern staplers are much more convenient, and people have come up with so many kinds for paper, for plywood, and even for skin. Yes, surgeons often use them during operations. Then there's the staple gun that's used to upholster furniture. And its older brother, the nail gun, can even be used to hold together the walls of a building. And here's an invention almost as important as a stapler. It's the staple remover. With its help, it's possible to remove the staples put in by a stapler. How about the screwdriver? That'll work. Look, the screwdriver fits perfectly into the slot. Ah, that's great. Now push that staple through. Only keep your fingers out of the way, or you won't finish sewing. Tadish! It's still not Tadish. You haven't fixed your pants yet. That's it. They're done. Now we can say, Tadish! Tom Thomas, are you ready? Of course. Bye, 
idea with the stapler was smart, wasn't it? And Tom Thomas's mother won't notice a thing. Will too. Just wait till she washes them. The aquarium. The coast is clear. The humans have left. Come on, let's go. Masia, why are the fish looking so tired? Because they're not getting enough air in there. The water in the aquarium is dirty, and it needs air. But the filter isn't working. The filter? Yes, that device over there. These fish need our help, and if we don't do something right now, they could die. Right. First, I'll fix that light, while you and Masia go over there and see what is wrong with the filter. But I want to go and look at the filter, too. You're too small for this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you're a giant. I mean, you're like six feet tall, huh? That's enough arguing. No lick. Let's go. Well, let's check it. Not working. No lick. Where are you? I'm up here. What are you doing up there? Nothing. Holding on. We don't have time for that. Get down. We have to get this switch working. <laughs> Marcia, what's the matter with the filter? Well, probably something's caught inside and it's stopping the motor from turning. A filter is used to keep the aquarium water clean. A motor in a filter turns the paddles and pumps water through a fine net or a sponge. The dirt in the water gets trapped in there and the cleaned water is put back into the aquarium. Many filters not only clean the water, but also add air to it, so there will be more oxygen in the water. You see, even though fish live their lives in water, they need oxygen just like all of us. There are lots of ways for people to breathe underwater. As an experiment, try putting an empty glass upside down in water, and you'll see that some of the air stays in there. That's the idea behind the ancient diving bell. An empty bell was lowered under the water, and some of the air remained in there for the diver to breathe. And about 200 years ago, the first diving suits were invented. The diver got air from a hose that started above the water. This let the diver spend a long time under the water and even walk around on the bottom, but just not too far. Later on, people learned to squeeze a lot of air inside of metal tanks, and that's when scuba diving started. Scuba divers breathe the air stored in these tanks so they can swim freely and even dive deep down below the water. Our work is done. The light is on and the filter is working. And the fish look so excited! As if they're not fish, but monsters. Thank goodness they're behind glass. <gasps> Papus! Just hang on! We'll be right there to save you! <sighs> but I don't even have my pack a mat Ooh, look how they're chopping their teeth. They must be so hungry. You're right. They're hungry. Nolik, come on! <laughs> Those fish, they're so ungrateful. We went ahead and fixed their filter, and all they wanted to do was gobble us up. And I'm the 
one who saved you from them. I was the one watching what was going on. <gasps> oh, gee. Hold it. Do you think giving her some uh, food will help? As long as you're not thinking that food is me. Whoa! 